All right. All right. So while I'm in, I'm on rest right now, as you can see, I'm kind of wimpy. That's, that's only 40 pounds right there. I probably could have just did two 45s and called it a life, but it's Monday. I don't feel like having a heart attack or <laughs> hurting myself. So I did want to clarify something from the last video I made about the expectations. What I'm saying is don't, I'm not saying don't set a goal. I'm not saying don't have your dream body in mind. What I'm saying is don't beat yourself up if you don't get there all in one week. Set a goal for yourself for the year. Like, for example, this past year I set the goal I want to be down to uh, 285 by my birthday. Well, my birthday's on Sunday, and I'm going to be about 350. Okay. Don't beat yourself up. I have beat myself up over it, and that probably did lead to the stress eating. Well, that did lead to the stress eating. But the goal would be, okay, what's your goal for next year? Have that goal then step it down. And what I mean by step it down is, what is your weekly goals? Not just weight loss, what's your strength goals? What are your activity goals? Do you have an activity goal of let's say 60 minutes per day of some kind of walking, running, jump rope, hula hoop, weight training, strength training, aquatics? What's your goal for that? You know. If it's a weight loss goal, is it reasonable? As in, let's say, a pound a week, half a pound a week. Understanding that some weeks you're not going to hit that goal. Some weeks you're going to blow past that goal times two or three. So it's going to kind of even out in the end if you do things right. What is your nutrition goals? Are you going to stick to a plan or are you going to stick to a plan until you let's say, have one bad day, and then all of a sudden, well, I might as well give up, I ruined it. Or are you gonna do, as I call the last hoorah? Okay, well, I had this bad meal, so I'm just gonna get back on the wagon on Monday and keep it moving. You know, those are things that you have to come in understanding before you even start, because if you don't, you're going to be all over the place. You're going to jump from fat diet, fat diet, fat trend, fat trend, you know, and it's going to be like, okay, you didn't come in with a plan. This is what you get. So when I say temper your expect, not temper your expectations, but manage your expectations, what I'm saying is sit down, have your little journal. I got my little journal over there in my bag and tell yourself how, what's the big goal? but then break it down in the steps. How exactly are you gonna get there from one, from one small goal to the next? And what happens when you uh, challenge, get those small goals? How many you know, reward meals are you gonna have? Are you gonna have a reward meal once a month, once a week, once a quarter? You know, or are you gonna save it for, let's say, you know, every six months or on your birthday, you're gonna have that one day where you just say, hey, I'm going to eat all the French toast. I'm going to eat all the whatever I want on that one day. And then the rest of the year, I know people who've done it. I know people who have done that. I know people who have a reward meal once a week and it's whatever it is they want. I usually do it. Like if I hit a PR, I have a reward meal and I don't go chase the PR either. I'll let it come naturally or my grappling classes when i master a new move or i master something in it i go have a reward meal and it's usually something small something stupid like a two-piece from popeyes or something but anyway that's all i wanted to do was you know clarify that i'm gonna give you a video on saturday breaking down my fitness goals for the next year and the reason why i'm doing that is because i want y'all to hold me to it i don't have followers friends i have accountability buddies so you hold, you hold me accountable and I'm gonna hold you accountable and we're gonna let this next year pan out how it pans out. So good day, folks.